The question number four is about exponential growth and decay. We have exercise 6 to 16. Now, please go to this link and watch the exercises from 6 to 13. Because those problems are already solved, you can scan this QR code and go to the video directly. And after watching that, please come back over here. I will start solving from 14 onwards. If you have watched the previous uh, questions in that video, you will find this very, very easy. Let us solve this out. A population is growing continuously at a rate of 3%. If the population is now 5 million, when will the population reach 8.3 million? State an assumption needed to solve the problem. Now, what is the assumption? Let's do this part first. Here, they have given you populations and the rate. Only assumption when we use the exponential growth is this rate will remain same throughout. That is the thing. So here the formula is y is equal to a e power k t. This is the rate k. Now we assume that the k will be constant throughout, you know, throughout these many years whenever the population from 5 to 8.3. But that may not happen in real life. But we are assuming that will be the constant rate. That is the assumption for this uh, question over here. And k is over here, 3%. You can directly put 3% in the calculator or you can write it as 0 0.03 as well. The initial population, now the population is A, right? They have told over here that that's the initial population A. And the final population, what we want is 8.3, that is Y. And the time is what we need to solve for. You can just write 8.3 equals phi times e to the power kt will be 3% times t. Now we can put this directly in the calculator and solve. Here type this equation as it is 8.3 equals phi multiplied by e is by shift and natural logarithm symbol. Now you can put 3% shift and this symbol over here. Percent. You can put multiplication and then you have to put the variable alpha x. Now, please do, don't get confused that there are two x. It's just single x. This is multiplication, then the variable x. Press shift and solve and then equal to your answer is 16.89. That is almost 17 years. Yes, it's 17. So after five, you know, from 5 million to reach 8.3 million, it takes about 17. After 16.89, uh, it will reach. Same way, please try these problems by yourselves. I'll just go through them, but they are all very, very simple. Here, same formula, but it's just that the, this is a dk because they have given the dk constant. So this will be minus k value. Here, we are not going to use this k value. Why? Because they have told to verify that. So that's why we will use this table and verify whether it's true or false. Now, what you do is use the same formula. Y is equal to a e power k t. Whenever it is dk here, the k value, dk constant will be negative. That's the only thing. Substitute. We will take the last value at the time 3. So t is 3. And what is the final population? 999.628. And the initial population is 1000. Just put this entirely in the calculator. You can directly put it. You will get in the uh, in the calculator. I'll show you now. I've just typed the entire equation over here in this calculator. And all you need to do over here is shift and solve. And then this is the previous stored answer. This is not the answer. You need to press equal to. It'll take some time and it'll give you the answer. Now, why I'm not going to... Okay, I'm getting the answer. If you don't get it, just clear your calculator. You will definitely get the correct answer. Okay, this is the answer. Now, it's 10 to the power minus 4. That means I will have one, three zeros. So you can see one, two, three, and then it is one, two, four. Now, yes, is it correct? Yes, it's almost true. Uh, we have got one more decimal point. That's the only thing. You can verify this k value by using these data and get one of the answers. Say, I will show you over here. You can just choose any time. We have taken away a time t2 and just substitute in the growth equation as t as 2. And what is the answer you're getting? 999.752. Yes, this is true. Obviously, it's true because we use this table and did it, and it's corresponding to this itself. So that's how we solve it. And we again, it's a similar thing. It's just that they have told at 10 a.m. the number of bacteria is 20. 
and the colony population was has continuously increased at the rate eight percent. We need to write an equation. Y is equal to a e to the power k t. The same formula, and then substitute what is known. We know initial population a is twenty. K value is zero point zero eight or eight percent. This is the equation. We don't know time. It changes, and we will get any uh, new population based on the time from ten a.m. onwards. And now, if you want to find the second part, they have told when will it reach fifty. So just substitute y as fifty over here and put it in the calculator. You will get the time as eleven point four five. Now we got eleven point four five as the time. That means it'll take eleven hours and nearly thirty minutes. But they have clearly mentioned what is the time, determine the time, and to the nearest minute. And we know this will be starting at 10 a.m. So we need to add 11 and a half hours to this. If you add 11 hours, it will be uh, 9 p.m. But what about this 0.45? There are different methods to do it. The easiest way is cross multiplication, which I always use. Now let's consider one as 60 minutes because this is minutes, right? Half an hour. Now, how much will be 0.45? Because I have 0.45 remaining. How many minutes? X cross multiply. X will be equal to 60 times 0.45. You can just put in the calculator, and you will get the answer. It will be less than uh, 30 for sure. It is 27. So it is 9:27, 9 p.m. And add this. Just in the calculator, you will get 27 minutes. So it will be 9:27 p.m. That's the answer. At 10 a.m., there are only 20 bacteria. To reach 50 bacteria, you need 11 and a half hours, nearly 11 and a half hours. So just add 11 and the 27 minutes to this. It'll be 9:27 p.m. That is the end of this topic. I hope you have watched the first questions from the other video link, and then watch this, the remaining questions. Please practice it by yourselves, and if you have any doubts, post them in the comments.